Good morning, guys and gals. It is Undead12335. Sorry about the echo. I'm in, in a bit of a big room right now. Just want to do a quick little video for you guys on the new exotic hand cannon, the Ariana's Val. It comes with two very special perks. One is the intrinsic, and the other is the trait. The intrinsic perk is this weapon fires special shield piercing ammunition, and it comes with a scope. Very, very good for popping the shields off of wizards, considering most of them have solar shields, and this is a solar weapon. It also comes with extended barrel, accurized rounds. The trait is death at first glance. It is bonus damage when aiming down sights on the opening shot of an attack. This bonus is preserved if the shot deals precision damage or strikes an elemental shield. You can pop shields on wizards and usually get them down. You can break their shield and get probably a third to a half of their health taken away. And the final perk is the polymer grip. It increases handling speed. Overall, this is actually a really, really beautiful weapon. It is a rounds per minute of 90. Slowest firing hand cannon in the game right now, as far as I know. Uh, max range, max impact, and I mean, it just it just looks sexy, man. <clears throat> but we're going to do a little bit of gameplay here with it, just to sort of show you what it does. If you have the season pass, if you have the paid version of it, you get it completely free. It's given to you after the like first or second mission of this DLC. And if you have the uh, free version of it, you actually get... It, 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 I believe, rank 25 or rank 35, somewhere in there. Um, this weapon does fire very, very slow. And you can see where my crosshairs were, and it kicks like a mofo. Um, you have to be very accurate and pace your shots. And I'm running around here on the moon. Uh, if you haven't played this DLC yet, uh, spo spoilers. It's really, really smooth. I've seen a lot of people trying to use it in PvP um, just because. I'm going to do a little quick shot here on the Trove Guardian just to show you how much damage it can do. On a crit. Uh, really, really awesome. It, it's it's a very smooth hand cannon. Once you get your uh, get your shots down. Also, if you guys don't know what this is, this is the chest for the Trove Guardian. You follow it up, 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 and around, and it gives you a chest that usually has a chance to drop everything from blues to... Just materials. I'm actually going to do a quick little puzzle for you guys while using it a little bit. I know it's not the greatest outside. I just wanted to try to get some gameplay out here, and all my friends seem to want to get on whenever I'm doing a video. <clears throat> yeah, two, this thing can two tap guardians. I've used it in uh, PvP with weapons of light and have two shot uh, supers before, which is really, really nice. Honestly, I'm not even going to bother doing the rest of it, I don't think. Actually, yes, I can. It actually sort of holds you on here, which is nice. Then you just drop in here, and you can get everything from exotics, legendaries, blues, all kind of stuff like that. So, it's really, really nice. I think this weapon is going to be pretty much valuable in the raid, because... From the amount of enemies I've seen with shields in this DLC so far, it's it's going to be worth every single second of having at least two to three people on your fire team running this. But my only issue with this gun is it only spawns in with so much ammo. But then again, it is basically a sniper. Let's uh, see the captain up there. Let's fucking... And you can one-shot. Like, like it said, uh, if the opening shot is precision, it uh, preserves the damage, which basically means it multiplies it from what I've seen. And... Uh, Considering I broke his shield as well, it'll multiply the damage. The in-air accuracy on this thing is not good at all, like other hand cannons, considering how fast the other hand cannons can actually fire. This one is sort of made like that, I think, to balance it out. Because Can you imagine someone just jumping over a wall and just hitting guardians and stuff like that in PvP? Wouldn't be very fun. But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, just want to do a quick little showcase for this, slash review. I do think this is going to be a favorite of mine. Um, slowly grinding everything up. I mean, my character right now looks like a hobo. Considering I spent all my tokens just day burning through uh, <laughs> my uh, vendors and stuff like that. But yeah, give it a shot if you don't have it yet. Um, if you're on the free, if you're on the free version of the season pass, be sure to actually rank up and get it. It's worth every penny. And if you are planning on buying Shadow Keep, you will get this weapon for free after about 30 minutes of play. So, yeah, be sure to check it out, guys. 
Um, I might do some more videos later today on this. I'm going to try to get a little more content on it before I do anything else. I know Asti Cross is already banging out content. And if you haven't seen the new finishers yet, they are actually really, really, really cool. I'm going to try to do one for you guys. I actually spent money on this game, surprisingly enough, and I bought one. I don't know why. That's the, uh, the drop kick one. Really, really cool. Amazing DLC so far. Hope to maybe see you guys out there sometime. You guys all have, have a great day as always, and I will see you.